Hey guys, I'm really excited about today's review. As you know, I've been reviewing quite a few different uh, web browsers for the iPad in search of the perfect one, and I think I found a serious contender. Um, that's Maven Browser, and I want to show it to you in this video. If you want to look at the other uh, browsers that I reviewed previously, just click on the playlist button on the top right of the screen. For today, let me just get into uh, the Maven Browser and why I like it so much. I just like the philosophy of this browser. The developer has set about to reinvent the browser for touch devices, and I think that's a really smart thing to do. First thing I want to show you is that this little red button on the bottom right here. And you notice that all the controls are heavily skewed to the bottom of the screen, which is where your thumbs are going to be if you're holding the device like a book to read it. So let me show you this. Um, the thing here, it's basically like a joystick that you find on a PSP. And if you drag the red button down, you can view when you're zoomed in. You can go to um, the right or left. You know, and I think it's really, really clever because, I mean, it's it's perfect for a, a touch device. So that alone is is a real cool addition to um, what I'm looking for. And as some of you may know, some of the features I like in the previous apps I reviewed is this split screen option. And check this out. If I just tap that with my thumb, I get a split screen. Okay? And uh, this is, well, this is my uh, Facebook page. Okay, so the split screen works in um, portrait. So if you're intending to do some split, sc split screen browsing, as I mentioned in my previous videos, like if you want to edit your blog post and see the output on the right hand side or if you want to watch a video while surfing uh, Facebook or Twitter then this is, is ideal because with just a, a tap of a button and and when you're in split screen you get th two joysticks one for the right and one for the left so this is just awesome I'm really excited about this this feature alone but that's just the tip of the iceberg so let me go back to portrait mode now let me just show you the rest of the features that I quite like. So again, with one tap, I'm back to uh, single screen. And you can see here that uh, for multiple tabs, you can see a little thumbnail of which page is on. And uh, you can add more by clicking the plus button and then loading another, another page. You know, the, the great thing about this is that you can see, you can f scroll to the left or right to see which, which uh, pages are open. So that's a good, break, a, a good time saver because, as you know, in Safari and some of the other web browsers, you got to click on um, a summary screen before going in, zooming into the, the open tab that you want. But in this case, you can see it all in the same view. The other th feature here is that, uh, okay, this button is for full screen, so you can click that and it goes to, it hides the address bar. If you click it, it appears again. You can go into incognito mode or private browsing by just clicking that little um, spy icon on the top left. So that's really quick and simple as well. If you don't want this joystick there, you can click this uh, little red button and it disappears. So now you're back to just normal web browsing with a finger. Search and uh, reload, uh, refresh of the page is just, again, easily within reach. Now, another cool feature that I like, let me show you an example, going back to the Wall Street Journal, is this thing. When I click it, this is a, a scroll wheel. So I can share this on Twitter, Facebook, or email, uh, send it to Gmail with just scrolling with my thumb, okay? And the other thing is that they've got the brightness adjustment. So why is this useful? I mean, if you're reading in bed at night and your, your partner's sleeping and you don't want the screen to be too glaring, you can just adjust it with, um, with ease because you can just access the brightness controls with this click wheel thing. Okay, the other uh, good feature is readability. Let me show you how that works by going to um, an article. So if I click on Reader, you can see now that this browser has converted the page into just text so that it's a lot easier to read. OK, 
Okay, so it basically takes away all the graphics and leaves just a tag. So if you tap the back button, you go back to the normal page. You can also access reader mode by, again, going to the scroll wheel and then scrolling all the way to readability. Now, adding a page to bookmarks is uh, easy, too. You can click the star button, and then you can add a bookmark just like that. Um, you can also share this page, set it as a home page, or do translations if you're in a, a, a website in a foreign language. So when you click on share this page, uh, it's integrated. You can email it, um, and it's connected to Instapaper as well for offline reading. And these are the uh, the this is the system setting where you integrate your logins for all these other third-party services. Finally, let's take a look at the settings. You can lock the rotation, adjust the font size. And also very important, as I mentioned in the previous videos, is the function to identify the browser as a desktop instead of a mobile device so that you can access the full website instead of the um, limited uh, mobile version. So you can set a password lock. You can clear cookies. You can also customize gestures. So you can um, define what two finger swipes, three finger swipes, four finger swipes uh, will do. Also, if you find that these thumbnails are a little bit distracting, you can click this icon here to hide it. The other thing I like about the Maven browser is that they also have a version for the iPhone. And all the major features that I liked on the iPad version is also on the iPhone version. Like for example, the joystick. Um, for for scrolling, the uh, the jog dial. So this is the jog dial for um, sharing. Uh, you can hide it. The only thing that's missing here is the split screen, the sp split screen option, which doesn't really make sense because the iPhone's uh, real estate space is really small. But uh, everything else, like the uh, incognito mode or private browsing mode, the uh, brightness controls, the thumbnails. All of these cool features are also available on the iPhone version. So Maven browser to the developer, my hat's off. You've done a great job. Uh, you are in the leading uh, spot now for being the best browser for the iPad. So I'll be checking out more web browsers in future videos. Let's see if uh, any other web browser can, can top what Maven browser can do.